You probably already know CapCut. It's one of the most powerful and easy to use video editing tools out there. But now it just leveled up. Whether you're a pro or just starting out, this feature changes the game. This new feature helps you create videos easily using several smart tools. And everything is gathered in one place, including brainstorming ideas, generating videos instantly, creating avatar videos, matching media to your script in one click, and even starting a fresh project with full control. If you're new to this, don't worry, it's super beginner friendly and I'll walk you through everything step by step. This feature is available both in the desktop version and in the web version, which I'll be fully testing for you today. I've also dropped the links to both in the description below. Okay, let's go. I didn't have a ready script, so I just typed my topic and clicked a button. The tool immediately gave me several topic suggestions and if you don't like the first results you can just hit generate more. You can either select a topic to add it to your key points or explore it for more details and uh, once it looks good just hit generate. You can set the video duration up to 10 minutes but I'm keeping it at 1 for now. That's it. The script is ready and you're taken straight to the editing screen. If you don't like what you see regenerate the script until you're happy with it. What makes it even easier is that the script is divided into sections so you can delete, duplicate, or edit each part separately without touching the rest. Now that the script is done, we can start building the video. The interface is really smooth and everything is organized nicely. For each part of the script, you can either add a voiceover, use an AI avatar, or even upload your own footage instead. Everything is accessible through the side tabs. In the voiceover area, there are two options. You can either use an avatar or just a voice. For avatars, you can follow a few simple steps to make your own or just pick from thousands of options. Same with the voices. You can make a custom one or choose from what's already available. Welcome to creating voiceover. Welcome to creating voiceover. I picked a voice and uh, clicked apply to all so it covers the full script automatically. For the media part, there are three choices. You can let the AI generate visuals that match your script. You can sync your own videos or images to it, or you can use stock footage that comes with the app. I wanted the software to make everything for me. So first I picked my aspect ratio, then chose a cool style and clicked apply to all. There's also an apply button under the elements section that automatically adds matching icons to your video and there are lots of caption templates to pick from. For background music, it's really simple. You can either search based on your topic or browse by category and then adjust the volume with clicking here. You can trim, delete, edit, or replace any visual at any time. If you don't like a scene, just hit replace and type in the kind of image you want so it generates it for you, or choose one from the built-in library or upload something from your gallery. When everything is ready, go to the export, choose the file name, quality, and resolution, and you can even go all the way up to 4K your video is ready. Here's what it's really like to live in space. You might think that living in space would be like being on a cloud, weightless and free from gravity, but the reality is far from it. In fact, it's more like being trapped in a horror movie. When you're in space, everything is trying to kill you. There's no air to breathe. Another way to make a video fast is through the instant AI video tool. It may look a bit like the scene tab, but it's built for speed. All you do is choose a style, pick the size of your video, and either paste in your script and pick a voice, or just write down your topic and let the tool create the script, choose the voice and video length, and hit generate. The video is ready almost instantly. You can still edit everything. Like here, I didn't like the captions, so I changed them a little, and the final result came out much better. I can assure you, I am completely sane. I just happen to have a very unique gift. I can hear the voices of the dead. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not always the most amazing ability. Sometimes it's a little creepy. For example, right now I can hear a woman sobbing in the corner. She died 78 years ago, but she still cries every night for her lost love. He died 43 years ago after falling off the roof while playing with his friends. You can also access this feature directly by clicking the link at the top of the page. There's also a quick tool for creating avatars. You can either build your own or pick one from the list. 
The script part works exactly like before. One great thing is that every avatar has a preview so you can see how it looks and sounds before picking. Hey, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. When you select one, a matching voice is automatically added. I already had a, a new script, so I just added it and clicked generate. You can always go in and change anything you don't like. A good trick here is to mix in some media clips instead of only using avatars. It keeps the video more interesting. The final result looks really clean. Professional software engineers actually became 19% less productive when using AI coding tools. While most developers felt like they were more efficient reporting a 20% boost in productivity, the actual results showed otherwise. Another option is using your own footage and matching it to an AI generated script. You can add as many clips as you want, write down your topic again, let the tool write the script, pick a voice and duration. Then just edit anything you want as usual and the finished video is ready. What if the moon just disappeared one day? It might look like a disaster movie, but it's actually a science experiment a long time ago. All the planets in the solar system were flying around with no moons. Then one day, bam, the moon just showed up. Scientists think it was a big rock that got knocked off course by it. You also get access to pre-made templates. Just click remake and the app creates a video using your media and script. And of course you can still go in and customize every part of it. What if Cleopatra was live? You know, like the Egyptian queen, not the Roman one. Like. What would Cleopatra be doing if she were alive today? And I think she'd be an influencer. Did you ever wonder why Noah was chosen by God to build an ark? I mean, there were plenty of other builders around in those days. Surely God could have chosen someone better. After I get back from my run, after I get back from the gym, I like to relax and watch some TV. I allow get ready for bed and hopefully get some good sleep so I can wake up early. And finally, if you want full creative control, can start from scratch using the new project section. Begin by entering a topic and key points, just like in the brainstorm tool. Or you can paste a link to a video and get it script or upload your own video and let the software write one for you. Click create and it builds the script. Then go to the scene area, pick the aspect ratio and visual style, hit generate, choose your voice and make any edits you need. Add captions, music, and when you're done, export your project. Until next time, stay creative. Here's my death. I was born and raised in a small town in Ohio. In my teenage years, I started having these dreams where I would see the future. I would tell my mom about these dreams and she would always tell me to just ignore them, that they don't mean anything. But one night I had a dream that I died. We were all bundled up in coats and scarves and hats. And as we were walking, I felt this sudden urge to take off my scarf and I did.